Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we will solve the problem 33 of Chapter 6 of Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics. A 1000 kg boat is traveling at 90 km per hour when its engine is shut off. The magnitude of the frictional force Fk between the boat and the water is proportional to the speed v of the boat. The force will be 70, plus, 70 multiplied by the velocity v, where the velocity is in meters per second and f, the force, is in newtons. So it's necessary to highlight this. Meters per second is the velocity and uh, not in kilo, uh, kilometers per hour like the the data we will have. Find the time required for the boat to slow to 45 km per hour. Ok, so let's start with the second law of Newton, the second law of the movement. Uh, the sum of the forces equals mass multiplied by acceleration. In this case, we will have the boat and as we shut off the, the engine, we will have only one force, that is the frictional force, contrary to the movement. So here we have the force a frictional force and the movement will be in this direction the velocity v0 the initial velocity of the boat so we can write we can write the force the force will be only the frictional force minus because the frictional force is contrary to the movement so minus uh, no, Fk equals the mass of the boat and ac acceleration. So acceleration we can write as the derivative of the velocity with time. Therefore, we have minus 70 multiplied by the velocity equals m the derivative of the velocity with, with time and consequently consequently we will have minus 70 dt it's necessary to know a little bit of calculus to solve this problem equals m and we we'll divide both equations by the velocity, so dv divided by v. And we'll integrate this equation. So we'll have minus 70 integrated. Let's draw let's write it here. Okay. Minus 70 integral of dt equals m integral of dv divided by v and we will integrate from time 0 to time t and here we have the velocity v0 and the final velocity 45 kilometers per hour in this case so you have minus 70 multiplied by t equals m integrating here we will have the natural logarithm logarithm uh, of v0 divided by v oh it's wrong it's v divided by v0 sorry and so the time will be 
minus m divided by 7 natural logarithm of final velocity divided by the initial velocity. This is the solution and we will use the data we, we have so it's necessary to to transform to meters per second so uh, we have 90 kilometers per hour equals so the velocity v0 equals 9 kilometers per hour or an hour 90 uh, 1 kilometer is 1000 meters divided by 1 hour or 3600 seconds so here we have let's use the our calculator we have 900 divided by 36 25 meters per second so the final velocity will be half so 12.5 meters per second Therefore, the time will be minus 1000 kilograms divided by 7 multiplied by the natural logarithm of logarithm of 12.5 divided by 25 and we will have so one one thousand minus one thousand divide by seven multiplied by the natural logarithm of 12.5 divided by 25 so 9.9 .9 seconds and this is the solution of the problem so the problem is solved <laughs>